Parents were stepping into the bizarre world of The Front Room, a wild, disturbing, and surprisingly funny horror thriller that's sure to leave you squirming in your seat. Does this film deliver the chills and thrills, or is it just too out there? Let's break it down right now. Welcome back to The Nerd Social, I'm Nathan. As always, if you want to jump ahead of the intro to my analysis or rating, see the chapter links below. So, this movie is the directorial debut of the Eggers brothers, Max and Sam, who are stepping out of their brother's shadow with this creepy, uncomfortable, and sometimes hilarious film. This film hits theaters nationwide on September 6th and has a runtime of 94 minutes. So, is it worth your time? Let's delve into it. The spoiler-free logline for this movie is, in the front room, a newly pregnant Belinda Brandy and her husband, Norman, Andrew Burnup, take in Norman's estranged stepmother, Solange, Catherine Hunter, as she battles a mysterious illness. But Solange's bizarre and disturbing behavior quickly turn their lives upside down as they descend into a surreal nightmare. As I said, this is directed by Max and Sam Eggers, who are known for collaborating with their brother Robert on films like The Lighthouse. This is their first full-length feature as directors, and they definitely bring their own unique and grotesque spin on the horror genre. The script, also penned by the Eggers brothers, is a twisted blend of family drama, family drama, dark humor, and body horror, making it one of the more peculiar horror offerings this year. The main cast is comprised of Brandy Norwood as Belinda, the pregnant wife with some troubles in her career in academia. She is known for Moesha, the 1997 Cinderella movie, and I still know what you did last summer. Andrew Burnup plays Norman, Belinda's husband, who tries to remain rational, but is clearly overwhelmed by the escalating madness. He is known for Under the Banner of Heaven and We Crashed, and we have a standout performance by Catherine Hunter as Solange, the ailing stepmother whose presence is both grotesque and strangely hilarious. She is known for The Tragedy of Macbeth, Harry Potter in the Order of the Phoenix, and Poor Things. All right, let's tuck into this movie. This movie is wild. It has all the makings of a classic B-movie, but in the best possible way. The premise is simple enough, but the execution takes you on a roller coaster of emotions from disgust to laughter and everything in between. Watching this in a theater is a unique experience. My screening had someone dressed up as one of the characters and it really added to the immersive communal atmosphere. This film is definitely a film to watch with friends. It's less about the movie itself and more about the reactions you'll have with people around you. Brandy's character, Belinda, starts off making some questionable decisions early in the film. I couldn't help but think, although Black Americans are not monolithic, many Black Americans would have some situational awareness around race and danger and Brandy's character doesn't always exhibit that initially. However, once the movie takes off, Belinda's reactions become more grounded and Brandy really steps up as the film's emotional anchor. Andrew Burnup's Norman, to me, is the more sensible person at the start of the movie, but even he can't hold things together as Solange's presence becomes disorienting. Speaking of Solange, Catherine Hunter absolutely steals the show. Her portrayal is creepy and zany, many times laugh out loud funny. Hunter's ability to mix horror and humor in such a grotesque character is truly something to behold. The plot is, is straightforward, but what makes The Front Room stand out is its blend of disturbing imagery and absurdity. The movie's tone constantly ships, keeping you on edge while also delivering some big laughs. It's less about the outright scary and more about how uncomfortable it can make you feel. The gross out moments are just disturbing scenes aren't exactly horror. They're more like the kind of stuff that makes you cringe and shift in your seat, but in a fun way. Visually, the movie is stunning. The Egger brothers have crafted a film with a uh, beautiful yet eerie cinematography that perfectly complements the tone of the story. The sound design is also worth mentioning. There are moments where the audio adds layers of tension and discomfort that make certain scenes much more intense. While the movie has plenty of disturbing elements, it's, as I said, incredibly funny. Also, at times, there are laugh out loud moments sprinkled throughout, and sometimes the humor catches you off guard. The mix of humor and horror works because the movie just doesn't take itself too seriously. It's a 
film that knows it's weird and leans into that. So in my final analysis, The Front Room earns a solid dinner party rating or a seven or an hour scale. And if you're unfamiliar with our scale, it's down in the description. This is the perfect Halloween movie to watch with a group of friends. It's disturbing, funny, and completely wild in all the right ways. It's not the kind of horror film that will leave you shaken. It's an experience, especially if you watch it with a crowd. Have you seen The Front Room? What did you think of its blend of grotesque horror and absurd humor? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like and share and subscribe for more in-depth reviews of the latest films and TV shows. See you guys in the next one. Bye.